Hello drone racers, I'm here today with an Ishin Wizard X220S quick tip. Before you fly this drone, check the screws really, really carefully. I just passively checked mine when I did and didn't check it nearly enough. And I just had my first prop break here. So I broke a prop, which happens. But when I checked that, this motor was about ready to fall off. I hadn't lost a screw on this one yet. I actually had lost a screw on this one. It was, it's gone. And this is barely connected. So as I checked, so as I checked the rest of them, I found there are no Loctite on any of these screws, which is pretty bad if you're gonna soft mount. I love the fact that they soft mounted everything. I hate the fact they didn't Loctite it. So what you wanna do is get some blue Loctite. If you don't have any, you don't wanna use red. Even though the bottle's red, I don't know why they do this. It's a red bottle, but this is blue Loctite. Just Loctite, just make the bottle blue. Anyway, main thing is this is the 242 version and it's removable. So you want this to be removable. And you don't need to soak the screw in Loctite. Really what you wanna do is get one side of the screw to have Loctite on it. The way I do that is I put a glob of uh, Loctite here. And I'll take out one of these screws and just do one of these for you because I'll take this out and I just can't believe they did this without any Loctite at all. I, yeah, that screw is totally dry. So I'm going to go through all of my screws and Loctite them. I just take this and I dip it in one side. So I get a little ball on one side. That's probably even a little bit too much that I need there because you don't want it to drip into the motor. That would be terrible. So I'm going to take a little bit off of that even. There we go. And then just screw it back in. So I'm going to do this to all the screws on here. I'll let it wait. I, that kind of messes with my plan for testing today, but it needs to be done. And don't lock it down tight because these are soft mounted. So you want to get it finger tight, just like twist it and get it finger tight and then go a little bit more. That's my professional measurement technique, tight and then a little bit more. So they're just on the side enough to gloop it on the one side. Do not stick the whole head into the blue Loctite. You do not need that much. So there it's in a little bit more and I'll do this with all of them. I'm going to go around and do the whole thing and I guess I'll finish this test tomorrow. But now seeing especially that there's no Loctite in any of these screws, um, I would just say before you fly it, get some Loctite and do the whole thing because there's none in here. And th this screw was, these are seriously long screws. I, I actually am impressed. They did put adequate screws on here, but they didn't put any Loctite on them which is really bad if you're soft mounting. If you're not soft mounting, just tighten them down, torque them down. But if you haven't done soft mounting before, that's when this is really essential. So now that'll hold in place. I'll wait till that dries and then I'll replace this prop and we'll test 5S tomorrow, I guess. Yeah, there's, here's one I had tested. Yet. I just barely twisted it and it just came right out. There's nothing holding these in at all. If this is the first wizard video that you're seeing, don't let this detract you. It's a really, really good model. Go watch my full review that you can see up in the corner now or even on the back or at the screen at the end. I have both an unboxing and a flight test video that are separate that I think you'll really enjoy and uh, just check out the whole playlist. Actually, just do that. Check out the whole playlist to see everything that I posted because depending on when you're seeing this, there may be a whole bunch of videos. But this thing is great out of the box, except for this fatal flaw is uh, really pretty bad. If you got a wizard, comment down below if you got any blue Loctite on your screws, because this is a early release model. Maybe they fix this, and you might be seeing this six months after I posted it. If this is the first video on the channel you're seeing, make sure you subscribe so you get all of our FPV goodness, mostly unboxing videos, but tips and tricks and things to help new flyers get started for the most part. So until next time, remember, the blue Loctite comes in a red bottle for some reason.